ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, well, I hope my recording is doing a little bit better than what it was. I had to uninstall it, and I reinstalled it on another drive. Um, I can't tell right now by looking at it if it's still lagging a little bit, but uh, I know before it was like one of those old Japanese movies where the mouth didn't match up with what they were saying. So hopefully that problem is fixed. Um, I won't know until after I actually... Um, go ahead and upload this video so if it sucks I do apologize I'm trying to get the problem fixed uh, but anyways so <laughs> excuse me so what what makes uh, when you look at your tanks one tank you're better in one tank you suck in one tank destroyer you're good in one you suck in same with artillery so on and so forth um, well I got thinking about that so I went through and found the worst tank that I my worst stats that I have and it's in this the scorpion and so I went back and watched several of my uh, replays that I had where I just kind of watched to see what I was doing wrong and uh, I, I caught myself playing this particular one um, like a heavy tank uh, because it's got a turret uh, and then I went back and looked at several other videos of other uh, tank destroyers that are turreted that don't have much armor like this one same thing and then I looked at my stats in those same thing they all sucked so well not I don't want to say sucked but they weren't they weren't that good weren't very impressive to be honest with you so um, I went through and I, I played a couple um, of my tank destroyers that are turreted lightly armored or like this one no armor um, with very few hit points. This has only got, uh, was it 1150? Yeah, 1150 hit points. So, you know, tier 10 match, basically three, four shots, and you're dead. So I get a nice shot in WZ120, and if you'll notice what I'm doing is I'm basically staying back, playing it like you should, a tank destroyer that has no armor and not many hit points. Now this guy obviously had it pre-aimed in me, and uh, as soon as he poked around the corner, got a shot on me. Um... You know, but he wised up, and he knows he's a one-shot, so he kind of backed off up out of there. Uh, you know, what I normally do with my turret tank destroyers is I go try and support the heavy tanks, um, or the front lines, basically. I go right with them, and uh, after watching several replays, I noticed, you know, shit, I'm getting tore up. I'm literally uh, getting one or two shots off and getting killed. Um, you know, this IS-7 up here, I thought I was going to be able to get a shot off on him, but... Uh, no such luck, but he knew I was aiming at him, and he was able to get a nice shot in on me. Uh, this got really good penetration for the standard ground, so it's not really necessary, even basically in a tier 10 match, to run uh, premium rounds. Uh, for the IS-7, I probably should have. Uh, if you run up against like a Moss or an E-100, you're probably going to want to sling some premium rounds, but for the most part, uh, standard rounds are pretty good. Uh, the only thing that I really kind of wish I would have ran some APCR premium rounds on this is the velocity of the APCR is better than the AP rounds. And you'll see I take a shot at a uh, T110E4, completely freaking miss them because I didn't lead the target. At, I, I just thought the round on this was a lot faster than what it was because um, I shoot more APCR out of this uh, when in tier 10 matches than I did this match. Um, and so you'll see the round doesn't even go near the uh, T124. It flies right on by him. Um, so anyways, uh, if you take anything from this video, um, basically what I'm trying to make, the, the point I'm trying to make is uh, when you're in a lightly armored or no armored tank destroyer, like the Scorpion, for instance, um, even though it's got a really good gun, you don't have a big hit point pool. Um, so I've been hit uh, twice, and I'm three-quarter, one more shot, basically, and I'm dead. 386 hit points in a Tier 10 match. Yeah, so any one of those tanks even gets a decent roll, they're going to shoot, and you know I'm dead. So I come around this way, see if I can get any shots on any of this stuff. It's all kind of hidden behind the hills, but then I saw that ravioli to the left. kind of looked at my mini-map and saw him. So I thought, you know, I might be able to take him out. Uh, I didn't... Uh, realized the gun depression or elevation on this wasn't as good as I thought it was so I hit down here in this little dip I'm like crap so I had to back up but it's got a good aim time on this so we we're able to take out the ravioli um, I was watching my uh, mini map and I saw this T110E4 coming up there but I thought I was going to be able to get some shots on these guys over here that were close to me like the T20 
or excuse me, <laughs> look at my own guys there. Uh, the guys over here, um, are like the T1 T4. I thought there was uh, some other stuff hidden over this way, but um, there wasn't. I was kind of looking for the uh, Conqueror, but he ends up coming over this way by the T1 T4. So I thought, you know, I might as well kind of move in there. And here's the shot I was talking about. You'll see. Uh, the velocity of the shell is kind of not what I thought it was. This AP round, and you'll see it just, boom, just doesn't even come near them. So the APCR round on this has a way better velocity, and I'm kind of used to shooting those uh, out of this. Don't have a lot of matches in this. I think maybe eight, eight, maybe nine tops. And uh, so, you know, I'm not used to the gun handling on it. Uh, it's got really good gun handling except for slow AP rounds. Uh, I saw the uh, T1 T4 and the Conqueror. Well, the T1 T4, I could have probably taken him out and got on his butt, but I wanted to kind of try and see if I could whittle this Conqueror down. And, uh, well, obviously I'm lit. And uh, right there, I just got lit. So I get a shot on him, but he gets a shot on me. And, uh, but instead of him being close to full health, now he's half health. So uh, it's kind of what I wanted. You know, I could have probably taken the E4 out. The only problem is with this being so lightly armored, he could have probably rammed me to death. Uh, so I at least wanted to try getting a shot off on that Conqueror, which we ended up doing. And uh, we ended up going ahead and winning this match. So uh, we ended up capping him out. The uh, Bat Chat back here, he's almost dead. And he gets up on this hill, and you'll see I kind of switched to him in a second. And he's like, kill them all, kill them all. But he sits there and doesn't move. I, he might have been reloading, but, you know, with what they had... Um, and being that they were that close to our cap and at 46% and our bat chat being a one shot, if those guys on our cap got off, the bat chat got killed, more than likely we would have lost, you know, not worth the risk. So anyways, uh, you know, after having this match, you know, I ended up doing, uh, right around 2000 some odd damage. Um, so played a little bit safer, uh, just my pointer is um you know after watching this video if you do play you know your lightly armored tank destroyers even with a turret stay back you know don't be a, a prime you're not going to be a primary even a, if you're a top tank in this uh scorpion you know you don't want to basically uh be up front because you just have no armor everything's going to pen you um even if you're in a tier 8 match you get hit by, you know, an IS-3, 390 average damage, basically three, four shots, you're dead. You know, so you're not going to be around too long if you try being a frontline tank in this thing. It's a back rear echelon tank, basically. You want to be as far back, but still get shots to help your team. But just try and keep yourself, you know, hidden. You know, use double bushes. Use your, uh, it's got all right gun depression, so, you know, use your terrain uh, to your advantage, but you know, don't go pushing up hard and fast with this, or you'll find yourself fast and dead back in your garage. So, if you want to hold on for a minute, I'll be back with some post game stats. And again, I uh, apologize if the video is crappy or sluggish, or um, you know, I'm working on it trying to figure out what the issue is. It just started, uh, like I said, I uninstalled it from my drive D, reinstalled it on drive C. So I hope that fixes the problem because what I'm seeing right now looks good. But it's once I upload it is where the issue happens. So like I said, if it's crappy, I do apologize. I'm working on getting it fixed. So if you want to hold on for a minute, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so there's the results of that match. Um, not so bad, you know. I went through and looked for one of the tanks that I just had really kind of crappy stats in and that was probably one of my worst was the uh, scorpion there and you know it, it just it boils down to is it the way you play the tank is it the tank or is it a mixture of both um, I think the results uh, for this match for me was uh, kind of spell it out for me I don't want to say in black and white but uh, for the most part, uh, I, I play most every tank uh, like it's a heavy tank. And obviously the Scorpion has absolutely no armor. Uh, so I think what it really kind of boils down to is I need to, and hopefully you guys can take from this, 
uh, a little bit of a learning experience. If you're playing something with no armor, you know, uh, and not a lot of hit points, like the Scorpion, for instance, um, I mean, it has, oh, geez, 1,150 hit points. So it's on the lower end of the hit point pool. Tier 8, you're going to see Tier 10s like I did. That was a Tier 10 match. Um, everything's going to pen you. And um, a lot of times you get uh, in a Tier 10 match, most everybody's slinging premium rounds. Uh, which this doesn't need but uh, Silly Putty and a straw to put a uh, hole through it. I mean, it has no armor. Uh, you know, basically paper thin. I mean, 30 in the hall in the front, 16 in the sides, 20 in the rear. If somebody drives by you fast enough, it'll probably take hit points off you. So, um, you know, I think what it really is is when I'm playing and, you know, I, I hope, you know, maybe you can take this, you know, for your own uh, two cents and, you know, play more, lean towards what you're playing, play towards that vehicle in particular. Um, most of the time when I play any tank, I play it like a heavy tank. Obviously, a tank destroyer with no armor and very few hit points, you know, you can't play as a heavy or a medium. You do have to set back and snipe. Uh, this match, I did kind of stay back towards the back. I didn't use, uh, I, I don't want to say I played it more like a medium. Um, I guess I kind of played it like a uh, camping heavy tank in a way. Uh, what I did is I kind of stayed in the back. And when shots of opportunity uh, came up, I was able to take them. And I did pretty good. Uh, you know, I didn't play it like I normally would. Um, I would play it more like a medium or a heavy tank that's uh, IS-7, you know, fast-moving heavy tank. And I would get right up there in the action, and, uh, you know, you know, three, four shots, boom, 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 you're dead. And that's the problem I was running into. And so I decided, you know, I need to change my gameplay uh, per type of vehicle I'm running. So my heavies, I'm going to play those as like I always do a heavy. My mediums, I play a little more cautiously because you don't have the armor that you do in a heavy tank. Uh, but your tank destroyers, uh, certain, I, you know, I think what happened is I was playing a lot of my tank destroyers like I would a tier 10 tank destroyer that's got decent armor, like the 183. It's got decent armor. Uh, if you get that in the right position, you'll bounce rounds off the turret all day long. Uh, you just got to hide the lower plate. And uh, I think what I'm going to really put the brakes on is... Um, my tank destroyers, like the Scorpion here, for instance, that has no armor, I need to really play it, um, a lot safer. Stay back, um, you know, hide in the bushes, use the bushes to my advantage, and, you know, take those shots when they come to me. Don't go to them in something that has no armor. I'm just not a camping type person. I don't like to set back. Uh, when my, my heavies are moving forward and, you know, your mediums, and stuff, I like to be up there to assist them, to try and help out. But I guess with certain tanks, you just can't do it. Um, you know, this one, for instance, I just, you can't push with a tank that has no armor. Because everything that hits you is going to pen you. This one, we did all right. We did get hit by a couple rounds that, you know, like the IS-7 schmucked me. Um, takes off, you know, almost half your hit points in one shot. When the tank hits you for close to 500, and you only got 1,100 hit points, you know, two more shots and you're dead. If you get hit by a big, uh, one of the, uh, like, uh, T-124s that do 750 average damage, you know, two shots and you're dead. But this one we did all right. We hit the Conqueror, knocked out his uh, ammo rack, and uh, hit him for 490. Nice thing about the Scorpion, it does have a hell of a gun. I shot one uh, premium round. I think I missed with that round. Uh, the rest were standard. So we did make a good amount of credits, which is nice. Hit their WZ-120 for 997. So almost 1,002 shots. That's pretty decent. Uh, hit the Ravioli and the Keister there. Uh, knocked out his fuel tank. Hit him for 308 and finished him off. And the Bulldog uh, spotted him and somebody. Hit him for 108. Uh, and then I hit him for 292 and finished him off. And we got a whop in uh, two base defense points. That was a Master Badge Class 3 and a Fire for Effect. So we did 2,087 damage. We got second highest, or excuse me, two kills. 
uh, and 790 for experience. We were second highest on uh, experience. If I can hit it once, not 10 times. So, you know, pretty good match all in all. It's seven shots, six hit, five pin. The only one I bounced was off the IS-7. Uh, 2087 damage. We got hit three times. Obviously, all three pinned. And hits result, uh, result of splash damage. So we lost some uh, uh, hit points to artillery. Damage four destroyed two. And damage caused with our assistance was a whopping 108. Made 71,574 credits. After the re, uh, re, resupplied the ammo, fixed the vehicle, and consumables, still made 56,874 credits because I shot one premium round and the rest were standard. It's got a hell of a wicked gun on here. Really, you know, decent pen for a um, tier 8. I think it's up around, yeah, 246. That's pretty darn good for a, a tier 8. 311 APCR if you need to dabble the two key uh, if a moss steps in front of him or an E100. Something that's got pretty good armor. <laughs> Excuse me. So, all in all, I hope kind of what, you know, what I took from this match and I hope what you guys take from this match is you really play the tank, I guess, for what armor you have and hit points. Now, if I was top tank in this uh this match let's say if i was the top tier eight and there was nothing you know i was tier eight, i was the big dog in the match um i don't want to say i would play it much differently because you still have is3s and um you know your uh, uh not uh, the old hoes and stuff like that that you know they hit you you have no armor it's still going to go through you and oh hit you you're looking at losing about 900 of your health in one shot you know, IS-3, you're still looking at losing 490, and you only got 1,150 hit points. So, I don't want to say if you're top dog, go out there and run this thing like it's a medium, but I would say you could still play play cautious, but you could play a little, you know, a little looser. You don't have to get out there and, uh, you know, stay in the back of the pack and hide, uh, you know, on the red line the whole match. You can, you're more apt to be able to push up and really pound some people and do some good damage, but... You know, lesson be learned for me, in a tier 10 match, three shots, I was dead. You know, if I was a top dog in a tier 8 match, you'd probably take more than three, maybe four or five hits. But, you know, because you have no armor. But play the tank uh, for kind of its role in the tier of the match that you're in. So, tier 10, play it as a tank destroyer with no armor, kind of stay back and hide. Um, use the bushes, you know, use gun depression if you have it to your advantage. If you're tier 8, your top tank in the match, still play it as a, a tank with no armor, but you're able to, per se, loosen the leash a little bit and go out a little further, um, and hopefully you'll have your friendly vehicles backing you up. Because you don't want to stay red line, hide in the back while all your tier sixes and sevens go out there and just get their butts handed to them because you're in a tank that has no armor uh because it's no different than if i took a um oh geez let me think here uh, i'm gonna have to cheat i um, trying to think of a tier eight um that doesn't have a lot of oh the t95 e2 for instance crappy gun well i want a crappy gun not the best gun in the world oh i, I can't really use that oh okay t69 there we go um crappy gun <laughs> uh, and the armor is not the best in the world um so you know if you're playing that one uh and you get in a tier 10 match obviously you still have to play you know careful but when you're top dog in that tank you know you can go out a little more than you would normally due to the fact that you got uh better armor than this but basically everything a lot of times just uh, you'll see so many tanks just you know spamming premium rounds so even if you're in a tier 10 match you go out there in your moss heavily armored great gun and you end up dying after you get hit five times because uh you got you know everybody's using premium you go through your armor like it's nothing it's just like the scorpion's armor so you know it, it's it's oh geez how can i put this uh it's you really got to watch what the play style of the enemy team is. If you see a lot of premium rounds getting slung, if you start getting hit by premium after premium, obviously, no, back up, use, you know, buildings to your advantage, cover, try not to get hit as much if you can help it um, when they're slinging a lot of premium. 
uh, when you're on the Moss Type 5 Heavy, you're going to see premium rounds get shot up your keister all day because everybody knows they're heavily armored, and that's what they're going to shoot you with. Um, I didn't really pay attention. I'll have to watch the match uh, when I do that part here in a minute and see if I did get hit with any premium rounds because if somebody shoots a scorpion with a premium round, either one, they've got a lot of credits to burn, or two, they don't know the difference between a standard and a premium round because, or they don't know the armor of stuff because um, there's no reason to shoot a scorpion with a premium round when a uh, spit wad would go through it. So, anyways, I hope you guys took something from this match and this this video. Like, you know, basically, um, uh, as many matches as I had uh, or have, you know, I should put two and two together a little bit sooner on some of the tanks I play, this being one of them, I bet, you know, just playing it the wrong way. Um, I should really be playing this as not a second uh, dairy tank uh, when it's in a tier 10, but like a third dairy tank, literally staying in the very back and just sniping at shots when you have, uh, you know, they're, they're there. If, you're if your team's rolling right over them, by all means, roll with them and try and get as much damage as you can. But don't go out there with something like this and try being the front line tank doing all the damage because you're going to be dead in three shots. Well, I think it was, was it three shots or four shots? Three shots and I was dead. But, you know, I was able to do, uh, you know, 2,087 damage before I got taken out. Now, if I would have played this the way I normally would have, more than likely I would have only got maybe, I'd have been lucky if I got 1,000 damage in it. Because I would have been rolling up there, uh, you know, like a, some big heavy heavy tank and just got my butt handed to me. So, um, even myself, you know, I still have to look at the tanks and play them a little more accordance with uh, hit points and armor. So, you know, well, take it for what it's worth. I hope it helped you a little bit. You know, it was kind of a learning experience with uh, for myself uh, running this one. Uh, you, you know, I really know that I got to run this a lot different than I have been. Anyways, I hope you guys uh, are having a good day. You guys take it easy, be safe, and I will see you on the battlefield.